Well, that closet proved to be quite a clusterfuck. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to be throwing things out of there. Because, holy shit. Anyway, uh, this is the figure of the next review. Decided to get, do this right after the last one. Like, immediately after. Because this is the closest box I could find. It's a pretty interesting one. It's a promotional figure from The Force Awakens. Almost said Force Unleashed, but I don't think I have the box of those anymore. This is a 12-inch figure, I believe. It's 12-incher. And let's look at the articulation first. Um, it goes 360. Well, kind of. If you take the gun out, it does. What? Well, how the f how the heck would this be fun to play with? Head doesn't move. This arm can go 360. The leg can just move one direction. Um, the detailing of the figure, I think, is fine. I think this works better as a statue than a toy you play with. Because let me tell you, if I were a kid, I'd be bored out of my mind with this thing. Like, dang, how boring of a toy could you make this? Really, Disney? You'd think the one major thing you would get right is making toys fun. But these are boring. The only thing they're good for is, like, collectibles. Like, that is its purpose. And then, you take the gun, which, I will say, is pretty nicely detailed. Gives you a good look at what the First Order uh, weaponry was going to look like. It's got a really nice detail. I love the detail around here, especially. But, yeah, that's the gun. And, uh, let's take a look at the box before we chuck it in the recycling because that's what we got to do. Now, if I really wanted to keep this in box, I would have kept it in box, which probably would have been the smarter thing to do, but as you can see, that's how it would look on the shelf. Far away, that's how it would look. Up close, that's what it says about the first order. Has some stuff in French too, and uh, Spanish. It's got some uh, copyright Nonsense, 2015 release, your choking hazards, the other figures in the line, such as Kylo Ren, Darth Vader, and Finn on Jakku. I don't know why it says Finn on Jakku, because that's pretty much how it looks throughout most of the film. Uh, anyway, that's it for this toy review. Live long and prosper.